now let us discuss about instantaneous description of pda in short we can call as id it is mainly useful in order to describe configuration of pda instantaneous description is mainly defined by a triple q comma w comma gamma where q represents current state w represents input string to be processed whereas gamma represents content of the stack now let us discuss about instantaneous description by taking this example l is equal to a power n b power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 already we have seen this example i will share the link in the description if you are unfamiliar with this example then please go through that link okay here for solving for here uh, for this uh, language the transition functions are totally we have uh, five transition functions if the current state is q naught and input symbol is a and uh, here uh, stack is empty if the stack is empty then what is the next state q naught is the next state we need to push this a onto the stack so now this z naught will be replaced with a z naught simply we have to push this a onto the stack next next transition function if the current state is q naught if input symbol is a and stack stapo symbol is a then we need to push this a onto the stack so now q naught comma so this a will be pushed so a a already we have z naught so we are writing that z naught okay so the first two are push operations next if the current state is q naught if the input symbol is b as well as stack stapo symbol is a then we have to perform the pop operation and we need to change the state from q naught to the q1 after first for the first b for the first b read if you read the first b then change the state from q naught to q1 this epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation it's pop operation okay next delta of if the current state is q1 if the input symbol is b and the stack stop mode symbol is a then we will stay at q1 only this epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation if the current state is q1 if the input symbol is epsilon and stack is empty then we have to change from q1 to q2 state so q2 denotes that it is the final state okay this epsilon specifies that now the stack is empty okay or uh, we need to perform the pop operation okay uh, so these are the transition functions the first two are push and the next three are pop operations so by taking these transition functions let us work with id now instantaneous description it is defined by a triple here let the current state is q naught next we need to write the string so here the language is n number of a's equal number of a's are followed by equal number of b's if n is equal to 1 then a b if n is equal to 2 then a a b b if n is equal to 3 then triple a triple b likewise so let us take the simple language double a double b uh, we can write epsilon here why because here the string ends with epsilon epsilon denotes the end of the string okay comma uh, next what is the third argument content of the stack initially the stack is empty so we have to write z naught so this is nothing but uh, fallen t okay we are reversing the t symbol fallen t okay it specifies that we are performing single move so here what is the state current state is q naught input symbol is a as well as stack is empty so q naught a z naught so q naught a z naught means what is the next state q naught is the next state and here this a is completely processed so what is the remaining input string a double b comma what is the content of the stack now a z naught this third argument specifies content of the stack a z naught okay next next here what is the current state q naught input symbol is a and stack stop mode symbol is a so q naught a a so q naught a a means what is the next state q naught is the next state this a is processed so remaining string is bb so what is the content of the stack now a a z naught a a z naught a a z naught next current state is q naught input symbol is b stack stop mode symbol is a so q naught b a q naught b a means q1 so we need to change the state from q naught to q1 this b is completely processed so what is the remaining string b comma here which operation we are going to perform epsilon epsilon indicates that we are going to perform pop operation so this a will be popped from the stack so what is the remaining string a z naught next current state is q1 
Next, this B means input symbol, A means content, topmost symbol present in the stack. So, Q1 BA means, Q1 BA means, we will be stay at Q1 only. Here, this B is completely processed. So, we know that epsilon denotes end of the string. Epsilon comma, epsilon comma, Q1 BA means, Q1 BA means, which operation we are going to perform? Epsilon. Epsilon means we are going to perform pop operation. So, this A will be popped from the stack. So, Z0. This A will be popped from the stack. So, now the stack is empty. So, Q1 epsilon Z0 means we have to change the state from Q1 to Q2. So, this Q2 is the final state. And which operation we are going to perform? Epsilon. So, epsilon. Epsilon means we are going to, we are going to eliminate the stack. We are going to, uh, we are going to perform the pop operation. So, this Z0 will be popped now. So, what is the now, what is the uh, stack now contains? Epsilon, okay. Now, we reached we reach the end of the string. So, there is no need to write this epsilon one more time. So, Q2 comma this epsilon. This epsilon specifies that now the stack is empty. So, we need to pop this uh, symbol from the stack, okay. So, we got Q2 comma E. So, this Q2 is nothing but final state, final state. So, we can say that our input string AABB is accepted by push down automata. Why? Because we got the final state. So, in this way, we can define ID, instantaneous description at a given moment. So, at this moment, this is ID. At this moment, this is ID. At this moment, ID. At this moment, this is ID. Okay. At this moment, this is ID. So, this is about instantaneous description of the PDA.